It's nerve-wracking in a really, really good way, kind of an adrenaline rush. I keep going between being nervous, excited, and scared, and everything all at once. I've never been to Portugal or Spain, and so I'm super excited to go there and see not only the architecture of the various places, but also the culture. I've never been anywhere besides uh, outside the country besides Canada, so it's gonna be a really interesting experience, and I wanna see if my Spanish is as up to par as I think it is. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited to see the food in some of these uh, countries and the, the nightlife. I've never bought a plane ticket before in my life. I've never, I had to get a passport. I literally bought a suitcase, so. I'm a little bit nervous, but not. Not enough that I'm gonna stop going out and experiencing new things just because I may not understand everything that someone says. Bye 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 bye. Southern Samba, Southern Samba. Bye. I think I gained a deeper bond with the students who were going on this trip, and a couple of friends for life. I was able to see these places that I'd been learning about in my classes and I've heard about my entire life. And I was able to be part of them and contextualize. And you go and you're living and you're being a part of them. It makes these places feel so much more real and alive. From a personal standpoint, I definitely feel more confident traveling abroad than I would have before the trip. Got to experience new cultures. I also got to expand and use my Spanish speaking skills. It kind of makes you realize how big the world really is out there and how small we are. A couple of my favorite places were the Eiffel Tower, uh, especially at night, even though I didn't really enjoy going up in it because I'm not huge on heights. But the other one was the Palacio de Pena in Portugal, which is a palace in the, in the middle of the mountains. It's, it's really something special. It was outside of Lisbon. We had to take like this hour and a half long train ride to get there and it was this beautiful, colorful palace and it was up at the top of a hill and the bus only took us so far and then we had to walk another 20 minutes, half an hour to get there. It's a little teeny tiny tourist area, but all the buildings were definitely what you imagine Europe to look like or one of these Portuguese towns to look like. The thing I've come to realize is that humans are humans regardless of where they live or come from or the languages that they speak. And so I think that this trip really just solidified that we all share the connection of being humans and that is the human connection is something that cannot be tethered by distance or time or, or language barriers. Compassion and kindness and a smile and laughter and joy are all the same regardless of what language you speak or where you come from. It just, it just feels like a way more relaxed environment over there. And in Lisbon, the city was just so bright and alive. It was very active, people out all the time it was just absolutely you could feel so much beauty to it i would definitely recommend to any west liberty student if they have the desire the opportunity to to go on a study abroad trip that um you can't really replicate the experience. You get to explore the world, experience new cultures, meet new people, try new foods, see a lot of cool places. Having done it and put the time and money into it, I would happily do it over and over and over again for the chance to experience a different world for a little bit. It broke my routine and made me realize that the world is a really, really fascinating and cool and exciting place. You don't realize how important it is and how much it can change you until you actually do it. But you don't know wh when or if you're ever going to be able to travel again after school and you're as young as you're ever going to be. <laughs> so I think it's definitely a chance and opportunity that every student should take. It's being able to experience um, other cultures and other nationalities and other worlds. and uh, That's something that is priceless. You, you can't put a price on that. You can't put a time restriction or a limit on how important that is and how vital that is to human growth and to personal and individual growth. And I think that traveling has made me 
a more empathetic and compassionate person, I like to think. Um, and so I think it's definitely something that every student everywhere worldwide should look into traveling as far and as often as they can while they can.